Welcome to Controls Explorer. This video we will show you how do you carry out PLC online editing. Now, what is online editing? What it means without shutting down the PLC or without shutting down the line, how do you change the PLC code being online with the processor? Like you delete instructions, change NO to NC contact, add new tags, even you add new instructions, even a complete new rung or new network, add timers, counters, and so on. So let's begin here. Start with very simple, how do you remove an instruction? Select the wrong, double click. We are going to remove the AFI, select it. Now just delete it. Once you do the delete instruction, next, you need to accept the pending edits and download. So select right over here and download it to the PLC. Select yes. If there is no error, it will download and we have downloaded it. Next, how do you set a beat? Toggle it. Select the instruction, right click and toggle the bit right over here what it means it goes to 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 vice versa so this is one of the easiest way of toggling a binary bit 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 next now how do you modify an analog variable value one of the ways select it right click go to monitor and type the value whatever you want. Remember one thing, we are online with the processor. So again, we run the instruction one more time. One more example right over here, what happens if you remove the one shot bit? Again, download it to the PLC. Now toggle the bit one more time. See the value it goes directly to the maximum. So this is one of the examples what a one-shot bit means. Well, we are putting back the one-shot bit once again back to the code. So again, accept pending edits and download it. Next, we are going to add new rungs as well as we will create new tags in the latter part of it. We are now creating a new rung and will insert a timer. So this is the new rung, select timer counter, T on delay, and type the tag name for this timer. Remember, this is a brand new tag. So it's an undefined, right click, new HMI timer, write a description, whatever you want, but at the end, create it. So PLC now recognizes this tag. Add a preset value. This timer by default got a millisecond as a base. So if you write 10,000, what it means is a 10 second. Now let's insert a beat. That is an NC contact. We would like to use the timer done beat. Done beat means once the timer is done with this counting. So the timer tag dot dn. Now let's insert a branch right over it. Drag and drop it and Let's insert a mathematics, that's a division. So select division and what is our objective? Keep the timer accumulator here. That is the actual count value. That is dot ACC divided by 1000. So the final tag right over here, we get it in second, like millisecond divided by 1000 in second. We are just creating a one more new tag right over here so again this is undefined right click and create a new tag we create it in real so that we can have decimal into it in case of double integer remember there is no decimal so finally again accept and download and save the project thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any question, please do contact us. Tech support at controls-explorer.com. And we would be more than happy 
to work with you. Once again, thank you so much and bye now.